Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Speedy Comet, the Blinker Piston Cup Racer number 21 from Cars 3. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Speedy was a veteran Piston Cup racer that was sponsored by Blinker and bore the number 21 and also participated in the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South and the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway in 2016 and at the final lap when, when Jackson Storm arrived on the scene in, and won the race Many sponsors began displacing their veteran stock cars in favor of next-gen stock cars, and Speedy, which Speedy was one of them, and was replaced by a next-gen rookie racer named Ryan Inside Laney. According on it, during his and during his diecast releases. In 2018, he was first released regularly as a regular version as a launcher. Then in 2019, he was re then in or 2018 or or 2019, he was then released again, but this time as an XRS Mud Racer, and was released a third time. This t but as but as a normal version in a single, which I got this one. one Back in 2019, as a regular single, which I prefer this version over the XRS Mud Racer version. And blah! So, or in other words, regular Speedy Comet? Yes. XRS Mud Racer Speedy Comet? Boo! So, anyhow, he was released yet again as a regular version, but this time in a two pack, twice with. Parker Brakeston, and he is a Brawny Motor Co. EA stock car. So now let's get right into the review here. Here we've got his friendly facial expression, his black grill which presents as a mustache, and his headlights and a number 21 underneath, and, and, on, and his orange and exterior and blue exterior blue interior and and on the hood we've got his blinker logo which says blinker connecting engine to engine which is obviously a reference to Twitter as far as I'm concerned this is the old blinker logo and on the left side we've got his blue interior and a white number 21 few contingency sponsor logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gating, Clutch Aid, and his blue rims on his black wall Lightyear racing tires, and surrounded by orange borderline circles, and the Blinker logo, and a black arrow with, uh, on the bottom, which indicates a pity to lift him up, and the gas cap. And on the top, we've got a number, another number 21, no name signature. And on the back side, you've got another blinker logo, and his taillights scene is. Now, on the back, we've got his spoiler. And on the back of his spoiler, it says connecting engine to engine, which is the slogan. And, his, and on the back, we've got his taillights and a blinker logo, and a number 21 on his bumper. And on the right side, we've got his exhaust pipes. Oops. And this is the similar design from the left side, but completely different. And that is it. So now let's compare him to the other Blinker racer, Ryan Inside Laney. So here are some differences. This Speedy is a veteran racer, while Ryan is a rookie racer. So here are some differences. This. Speedy has the old Blinker logo, while Ryan has the new Blinker logo. And Speedy has some... 
traditional Piston Cup logos, while Ryan has the new Piston Cup logos, which says Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy, both old 21, new 21, old light year tires, new light year tires, no rookie stripes, rookie stripes, which means Speedy is a veteran while Ryan is a rookie. And here's another difference that I should mention. Slogan, no slogan. And that is and now let's compare Speedy to the other Brawny Motor Co. EA stock cars. We like Chip Gearings, Red Meeker, Bobby Swift, and TG Castlenut. And that is pretty much it. So what do you guys think? Which blinker racer is your favorite? And which Brawny Motor Co. EA Piston Cup racer is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past in the Cars Collection video should I review next. Now, I hope to see you all guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. And, and goodbye now.